Fire away, please. Steve. I mean, we started off with a couple of turnovers early, and they just, you got to give those guys credit. They play great defense, and they, they just turned us over tonight. Charlie, how hard was it to communicate with your teammates? Uh, it was pretty hard. You know, it was loud. It was a great atmosphere. Um, so we had to, you know, it was hard for us to communicate. What did Coach say when you came back out there? What did he say? Yeah. Um, he just said those guys play hard tonight. Um, they all played us, you know, uh, they stuck together out there, and you know, they came out with the win. What did you guys do the first half to hold it without a field goal for more than nine and a half minutes? Um, I think we went to the 2-3 the zone, slowed them down. Uh, cause they, they made two two early threes, and they were getting easy baskets and things like that. So we went to the 2-3, kind of slowed those guys down. And in the second half, I think they made some adjustments, and then we had to go back to man. Oh, uh, what just did, did did they make? Yes. Um, they just made shots. Um, then Wade made um, a couple of shots in the middle that he missed in, in the first half, and he made them in the second half. And they got a couple of um, put back layups to get them going, and that just that was rolling from there. No, nah, we ain't even we ain't even worried about that. We just worry about getting better. We got we got worry about winning the game on Saturday, taking one game at a time. Did your coach, uh, I guess they were pressuring you out, but late late game execution. What'd you think of your guys' offense late? I guess you could say it was pretty it's pretty poor. It was pretty poor. Uh, I guess I need to do much more leadership for the younger guys in an environment like this, things like that. It's all about just staying poised when it get when it get loud and things like that. So it's all it's all things they they can be fixed. It's, it's not too late. We're still in February. We've got a lot of more games to play to fix it. How worried are you that this road thing is a is a thing? I mean, it's in your head that kind of stuff. <clears throat> I get, I guess I, I guess you can say it's. I don't know. I can't speak for no one else. Like, like you you going to have time winning. Um, most of the time we was up three. Things like that, you just think that we just need to finish and, and teams come out making shots. You got you to get those guys credit. They made shots when they need it. Um, 20 made, I think, two threes. Number two made a couple threes, things like that. So it's just you got to lock in and just guard your man when, when it's crunch time. Charlie, some of your teammates, some of your fellow guards seem kind of rattled. What did you do to come in and kind of settle things down? Um, you know, I just came in, knocked down a shot. Uh, Got us going on a defensive end with a steal um, to make us come back. You know, I just tried to come in, you know, play some defense and, and give us some, some energy. And uh, I think that helped us out first half. Did you think he was going to dunk that at the buzzer? I didn't, to be honest. I didn't. Anything else? Thanks, guys. Yeah, is this on? Okay, yeah, yeah, we did a terrible job of taking care of the basketball, but they, they did a good job of pressuring us too. And, you know, we got off to such a bad start and our young kids uh, never been in a situation like that. And they ate us up pretty good uh, uh, for 40 minutes as far as, uh, uh, you know, pressuring us and getting open one pass away. And we were never, ever remotely comfortable and that's that's credit to them and 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 probably our inexperience as well uh you know what it's a it's a zone that we probably practiced at least 10 minutes this month or in the last month so but we thought we could play it you know we played it here last year and it helped us a lot so uh and it actually did help us i thought we did it i thought i thought our activity level was pretty good and they missed some shots, but but for the most part, they didn't get many good shots. Uh, uh, 
in that stretch in the first half, probably the last 10 minutes of the first half. I, I think they may only scored four or six points in the last 10 minutes. And, and uh, we should have been up by more than three, you know, if a team goes that, that, that long without scoring. But our offense was so poor that, that we couldn't take advantage of it like we, like we needed to. Yeah, you know, you know, the thing about the, the, the uh, you know, their stats the first half weren't bad uh, shooting the ball, but they made the shots early, you know, primarily. And, and uh, uh, so the second half, I mean, I knew that there was a great chance that they would, uh, you know, kind of get a little rhythm. I, I, I knew that. And, you know, you were hoping they wouldn't, but I, I knew that. Uh, but but it, it wasn't our zone that, that hurt us. You know, they, they scored at the end of the clock in the zone uh, uh, several times that, that really that really hurt us. But it was just our ineffectiveness on the other end because it puts too much pressure on your defense if you never score. And, and, and uh, you know, we never got any rhythm offensively. Did you need more left from LeGerald? Uh, is that why he didn't start the second half and just play the four in the first half? No, there was other reasons why, yeah. Uh, bigger worry for the league race. Uh, well, yeah, that you know that that's uh, obviously a concern. You know, we 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 put ourselves in a position where where uh, uh, you know you, you think that well, K State's got to come to our place. Well, if, you know, if we get them, do what we're supposed to do at home. It's a half game deal as opposed to a game and a half. Uh, you know, you, you think like that, but that's not how you should look at it. We should just worry about. Yeah, I feel like I'm I should be Jim Moore. Uh, 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 right now in my talk because we shouldn't even be concerned about a damn race right now. We should just be concerned about, you know, trying to win a game and playing the right way and having freshmen grow up and, and having some leadership and, and, and things like that uh, uh, that obviously was lacking today. So, so uh, uh, are we in a great sh position to win the league? No. Do we deserve to be in a great position? Absolutely not. Can we flip the switch? Remains to be seen. So, so, uh, uh, but but we just got to you know try to get better and and win a game on Saturday. What do you think of your offensive execution? I, 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 it was awful. It can't be worse. You know they did a good job on Diedrich. You know they, they bodies or bodies on Diedrich have been have been uh, uh, something that that have really you know give, given him problems. And they 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 did a good job with that. And and uh, you know they trapped him. You know, they only trapped him two or three times, but they trapped him everywhere. And so, so you know, that, that was obviously a little frustrating. But just to be able to pass and catch and, and, and get open one pass away, it, 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 was, it was awful. And uh, certainly we've had some other awful offensive execution days, but this, this ranks right up there with, with one of the best in that regard. But give them credit. They, they, their, their defense was so much better than our offense, it was comical. Uh, yeah, but but it's not what you guys think it is. It it it's uh, it's uh, you know I I really think people think that there's there's a common theme turnovers what no it's 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 leadership, it's toughness, it's inexperience. It, there, there's a, there's a lot of things that that go into it. Uh, uh, and and uh, you know we could have come over here and played great tonight, still lost. I mean they're, they're they got a really good team. I mean so but our ceiling isn't near as high as what it has been even other times this year because obviously, you know, you know, not having Marcus Garrett's a big miss, I mean, for us. I mean, he would have been by far our most experienced true guard. So, so uh, uh, but, you know, those, those aren't excuses and everybody deals with that crap. And, you know, we're obviously dealing with, you know, our fair share uh, right now. But, but I don't, I don't, you know, just don't put it on, don't put it on just turnovers or this or that. No, it's, it's, it's leadership, it's toughness, it's, it's it's uh, uh, paying attention to detail. It's understanding what we're doing. There's a lot of things that happened before we even got to Manhattan that were reasons why we weren't successful. Not just after the ball was tipped. You're talking mental toughness, right? I'm talking. No, I'm talking everything. Mental, physical. I, I, yeah, this team doesn't have much right now. Deidre talked about that one game at a time mentality. Do you
you sense that throughout the locker room, or, or where is? Where Matt, we just I talked to him for three minutes. Okay, yeah. after I didn't sense anything. Uh, uh, I don't think there was any discussion about, yeah, guys, one game at a time. You know, I, it wasn't like that. It was like, hey, we got our ass kicked, and now we just got to take one game at a time. So that that was the extent of that conversation. Uh, you know, I don't know. You know, uh, I'd like to think that, that we can do a lot better than, than, than what we've done. Uh, uh, but, but even even with, you know, you, you guys watched the game. I mean, there, there was, a, you know, freshman on an island out there. And, 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 and Marcus Garrett probably has the best chance to be that. And he's not suited up. So, But that's not excuses. Everybody should do it collectively. And, and, and you could tell right when the game started, there were two easy switches that we practiced the whole time that they get wide open shots. And, and then guys want to blame other guys for, you know, that, that's not how you win on the road. So, so uh, I, I, think it, I think it's a collective effort because we're not going to have one guy that's going to be a take charge guy. We need to do it collectively. And we've had teams like that that's done in the past. We won a national championship without a, a, a main guy, but we, got about, we had about seven that really, really understood, though. I really didn't think about the game in Lawrence one time tonight while the game was going on. So I, I, I didn't think about that at all. But he did make about three or four really big time shots and big time plays. And if you go back and, and, and look at their team and, and whatnot, I don't know that he's played consistently as well as all the times as what he did in, in stretches that we saw last year. But he was terrific tonight, no question. All right, Coach, thank you. Okay, thanks, guys. Thank you.